got a post, I got a post of you. I got a post of you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, YouTube? It's Josh. Thanks for watching this video. What you're looking at is something I think uh, could benefit many people. High speed, low drag. It's a Magellan Outdoor Sleeping Bag Liner. Mummy style. 100% melt to your skin polyester. So you got to keep it away from fire and hot objects. It will melt on you. Polyester, after all, is just oil. It's petroleum, baby. Here's some dimensions for you. Let's get up close and personal. Got an 82 by 34. If you don't know, that's over 6 feet. What is that, 7 feet-ish? You can read that. Just hit pause. It's pretty cool. I like it. I got it at Academy Sports a couple of years ago. Yes, a couple of years ago. I've only used it four or five times in that amount of time. I haven't gone camping as much as I would like to. But uh, what is a sleeping bag liner, you might ask? Maybe you don't have a clue what it is. Give you an idea, this is about the size of a length of a beer bottle. A tall boy. A sleeping bag liner is really helpful if you're doing a lot of camping. Or if you're out camping for a long period of time in a wet environment or a humid environment. It can also be used all by itself. Here, you know what? Let me uh, prop this camera up so you can kind of see how tall it is. Oh my god, look at that desk. Doesn't that look like crap? Hmm. What's up? West Coast, best coast. Even though I'm in Arkansas right now, hey. So this is how wide it is. My shoulders are 55 inches wide. All right. This goes quite wide. It fits nice and snug. Originally, sleeping bag liners are made out of cotton. Um, let's see here. I'm five foot eleven. On a good day, we're touching the ground now. So yeah, it's just a hair over six feet. It stretches a little bit, so you could stretch it if you really wanted to. Enough of that. Stop looking at my dirty desk. But uh, yeah, sleeping bag liner. You slide this into your sleeping bag. The best way I found to do it is to get into this itself and then get into your sleeping bag. That way, it fits in very well. You could always add little Velcro tabs to the bottom, right here, like on this tab, and then add it to the tab, or tag I should say, that's on the bottom of your sleeping bag, and it'll stay in there much easier for you. That'll help it from getting twisted around while you sleep. Because I live in Arkansas, uh, oh yeah, I was saying, man, off top like crazy. Originally they're made out of like a linen, cotton, and silk. You can still buy these in silk, and silk is a really good option to get. It'll be lighter, it'll be softer on the skin, and uh, it's really good for keeping the heat in. You can use the sleeping bag liner all by itself, which is what I've done. I haven't used it in a sleeping bag yet, because it doesn't get that cold over here when I'm camping. But it's a great way to help keep your sleeping bag from getting soiled by the oil and the dirt on your skin while you're out camping for many days in a row. You don't really have anywhere to bathe very well if you're, say, up in the mountains and no lake or river. Nice and cold to jump into. But yeah, works great. You got a, honestly, a heavy duty Velcro. Oh, got some hairs in there. Some fibers from my tent. But uh, I would recommend it. It's a good little bug out bag item, you might want to say as well. Got a drawstring, so you can cinch it up tight around you. You can put it over your head. If it was really cold, and it'll trap heat in there while you're breathing on yourself. Leave a little air gap in there for you, so you can get some oxygen. It's lightweight, feels really good against the skin, almost has a cooling effect. But yeah, go get yourself one. Again, this one specifically, sleeping bag liner, mummy, 100% polyester, made by Magellan. I got it at Academy Sports and Outdoor. I think it was like on sale for like 12 bucks, maybe $10. And that's why I bought it, because I'd never had one before. Let me know what you think. Throw it down in the comments below. Have a good day.